Hello everyone. Welcome to the math section. The objective of the lesson is integers today. So we will give you the basic concepts of integers. First of all, the question comes in our mind. What is an integer? An integer is a positive or negative whole number including 0, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and we can represent it on the number line as well. There are four integers operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Rule number one for adding integer, the sum of two positive integer is always positive. Suppose 5 plus 1 equals 6. Rule number 2. For adding integers, the sum of two negative number is always negative. Minus 5 plus into minus 1 equals 2 minus 6. Rule number 3. For adding integers, the sum of a positive and a negative integer could be positive, negative or 0. Rule number 3 for adding integers, when you add a positive and negative integer, you are really subtracting. Then you give the answer the sign of the greater absolute value. Suppose you are having 5 plus into minus 1 equals to minus 4. If we are having plus and minus sign, so we have to subtract because plus and minus signs are going to multiply with each other. So when you have learned the concept of plus and minus then you will play with integers very nicely. Here we are having the practice addition questions 5 plus 6 is equals any guesses? Yes you have to do the practice. You can write it on your rough notebook or you can write it on your any kind of whiteboard or you are using something else resource, there you can write your answers. Minus 3 plus into minus 2 is equals to, now minus 6 plus 5 is equal, 8 plus minus 7, now you have to give minus 9 plus 9 is equal. Alright, here the answers are. Let's have a look. You have to check that your answers are correct or wrong. Now move to the next slide. Rules for subtracting integers with the minus sign to subtract an integer at its opposite. You will need to correctly change all subtraction problems into addition problems. How do you change a subtraction problem into an addition problem? It's time to think. Uh-uh. Okay. Here it is, there are three steps. Keep the first integer the same. Same? Hmm. Just keep it in your mind. Keep the first integer the same. Now, the second point is, change the subtraction sign into an addition sign. One more change is there. Take the opposite of the number that immediately follows the newly placed addition sign. This is also changed. Now let's have a look on the example. Same when we are talking about same. Change, change. Examples are there. 5 minus into minus 2 is equals to 5 plus 2 because minus and minus signs are going to be multiplied with each other and then we will get plus sign in between these two. 5 plus 2 is equals to 7. So here minus 5 minus 2 when both are negative numbers but when they are converting with the plus sign in between then we are having minus 7. As you can see we can place into minus 2 and plus sign outside. Let's have a look on one more example. Now you have to do the practice of subtraction. 5 minus 2 is equals to minus 3 minus 4. 
Now the question number 3, minus 1 minus into minus 2 is equals to. So I'll give you the one answer of this one, 3 part minus 1 minus into minus is equals to plus. So 1 minus 1 plus 2 is equals to 1. What about question number 4 and 5? Now it's up to you. Uh, write down your answers. Alright. So here we go. First we have checked. Can we do it in the same way? Yes of course. Because minus sign is with 2. And here. Minus 3. Plus. And we can make it inside the brackets. In the same way. If we are having these integers, we can plus them. In the fourth one, the similar, we can plus them. Plus minus, minus is equals to minus 2. Why minus appears outside? It's time to think. Of course, the biggest value, which is 5, is here. So, the sign of the biggest value will be placed there. 7 minus minus 6 will be plus here and then we will get 13. Oh wow, you got it. Now here we have the rules for the multiplying integers. The product of two integers with the same sign is positive. The, dip the product of two integers with a different sign is negative. So you should keep in your mind these two rules for the multiplying integers. Rule summary for multiplication. Positive sign multiplied with positive sign is equals to positive. Negative sign multiplied with negative is equals to positive. Positive into negative is equals to negative. And negative into positive is equals to negative. Let's practice multiplication. Here we are having part A. 6 multiplied by minus 3 is equals to minus 18. It simply means that if the one value is negative, the answer will be negative. And if both values are negative, the answer will be positive. In the case of number 4, we can see minus 6 multiplied by minus 2. Its mean answer will be positive 12. In the same case, in the 5 part, minus 7 multiplied by minus 8 is equals to positive 56. Here are your answers. Did you know that the rule for multiplication and the reign are the same? Think about it. Guess what? They are. The rule for division are exactly the same as those for multiplication. If we were to take the rule for multiplication and change the multiplication signs to division signs, we should have an accurate set of rules for division. Rule for dividing teachers. Rules for dividing integers. The quotient of two integers with the same sign is positive and the quotient of two integers with a different sign is negative. Keep it in your mind. Summary for division. Positive divided by positive will become positive. In the same case, negative divided by negative will be positive as we multiplied the two signs with each other the positive positive will be positive, the negative negative will be negative, uh -uh. it's positive. Now positive divided by negative sign is equals to negative as we get in the multiplication. The positive into negative equals to negative. In the same case negative divided by positive will be negative. The same case is with Multiplication. Let's practice division. 18 divided by 
minus 2 will be guess the answer all five parts you have to solve it I am giving you one example 30 divided by minus 5 it's not important that one value is positive and the one value is negative either positive value is as numerator and the negative value is as denominator the value will be negative if we are having in the case of 3 minus 27 divided by 9 numerator is negative and denominator is positive however the answer will be negative let's have a look to the answers let's review of the integers what we have learned today definitely you have to look at your side how much you have gained and you have to write down the answers and you have to write in the comment section that how much you get the knowledge from this video what is an integer are you giving the answer can you give an example of an integer yes the answer is what are the four operations you have to note down the answers how do you add integers in the case of addition in the case of negative numbers in the case of positive and negative numbers how do you subtract integers answer is to subtract an integer add its opposite same change change this rule you should keep in mind how do you multiply integers answer is if the signs are the same your answer is always positive if the signs are different your answer is always negative how do you divide integers if the signs are same your answer is always positive if the signs are different your answer is always negative multiplication and division rules are the same so this is the end of the lesson hope you enjoyed this lesson please do write in the comment section for more details and do subscribe and like for more videos